Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an HP touchpad, which is a 9.7 inch tablet that ships with WebOS software, but for about a year now people have been figuring out how to install Google Android on it. And this particular version is running Google Android 4.1.2, and it's a build, a new experimental build that came from developer J.C. Sullins, which has uh, at least one nifty new feature. It supports audio. Uh, his last build of Android 4.1 based on Cyanogen Mod 10 did not have audio working. This version does. And it also seems to have support for hardware accelerated video as far as I can tell. Because we can do HD YouTube videos. Capture your world with a revolution. Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an AMP A10 tablet, which is a 10-inch Android pretty well. It, uh, and once it dips below the uh, 7 to 9 percent point, you're going to start getting... Feels kind of recursive there, doesn't it? But uh, we've got a review inside a review. But uh, overall, it works pretty well. Um, you can see that graphics are uh, pretty snappy. We've got support for YouTube. We've got support for Netflix. So much for Snappy. And uh, yeah, so basically everything seems to be working pretty well except for the camera. On this particular build you notice that there's no camera app included and if you try and download and install third-party camera apps, uh, they're not going to work either. So there is a uh, front-facing camera, no rear camera on this tablet, but you can't use the camera yet using this particular build of Cyanogen Mod. There is a version of Cyanogen Mod 9 based on Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich that does have a partially working camera, but um, that hasn't uh, been ported to this version yet. You can see we are running the latest version of CM. We've got the uh, new file browser built in here, among other things. So. There you go. I just wanted to give you a quick overview. Uh, you can install this by um, downloading it using the links at lilliputing.com and uh, following our instructions for installing Cyanogen Mod. And if you're upgrading from an earlier version, all you need to do is flash it with TeamWin Recovery Project or another similar uh, custom recovery. And if you are installing it for the first time, then you can uh, follow our more in-depth guide for doing that. You wind up with a dual boot system. You can still run WebOS on the HP touchpad when you're done. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at the latest J.C. Sullins version of Cyanogen Mod 10. It's an experimental build, still maybe a little bit buggy or might not have great battery life or some other issues, but for the most part it, uh, it uh, runs Android pretty well. should be able to handle games, web browsing, and audio and video. The microphone should also work at this point.